from Duff Kingston Memorial Gymnasium in El Dorado, Illinois. It's time for the final day of the 59th Annual El Dorado Holiday Tournament. Good morning, everyone. I'm Roger Hobbs alongside Cole Carter as we kick off play here in the Super Consolation bracket between the Lions of Carterville and the Vienna Eagles. The Carterville Lions, the top seed in the tournament. Uh, no problem with Carrier Mills the opening day, 59 to 22. And then we're upset yesterday afternoon by the eight-seeded Harrisburg Bulldogs, 52 to 44, dropping them down into this super consolation bracket. The Vienna Eagles opened up with a 68-58 win over Edwards County and then succumbed to Massac County yesterday, 58-51. So these two ball clubs here will battle it out and uh, they will play tonight for the fifth place game. Our second game this morning will be the Mules of Fairfield against the Anna Jonesboro Wildcats. This will be the second meeting between these two ball clubs as Carterville knocked off Vianna 63-59 back on December 5th at uh, the Eagles home court. So uh, what is, you know, hits anybody's ball game. Well, and if you look at what these two teams did yesterday for Vianna, it was a, a seven point loss to Massac County. You mentioned the 12 point or the eight point loss for Carterville from the eight seed at Harrisburg. And we said coming in, these top eight, eight teams in this tournament it's a toss-up. It's going to be anybody could win this tournament, and that was the case as we saw Harrisburg taking another top seed Carterville yesterday. But I really do think both of these teams kind of weren't allowed to play their style. They both want to get up and run down the floor, and the opposing teams, both Massac and Harrisburg, did a good job to control that. So we'll see if uh, their legs are fresh this early in the morning. I'm still trying to wake up. I'm sure <laughs> these kids are. Uh, it might be a sluggish start. Yeah, you know, you, you kind of wonder, in those two ball games yesterday, uh, Carterville kind of had a lead pretty well, two or three points pretty, all throughout the game. And Harrisburg caught fire in the last three or four minutes, knocked down some free throws to come away. The massac uh, Vianna game, I looked for a high-scoring affair, but, you know, you talked about the defensive effort, Massac or Vianna averaging about 70 a game, and Massac completely took them out of their uh, uh what they had had planned. Yeah, that was Massac really for all the first three quarters, and then late in the fourth, Vianna made a run. I think they had the ball down by two multiple times and never could take the lead. Massac hit their free at those at the end to win the game. I think if, if, if you ask Stephen Drury, he said we did not play very well in that game at all. Uh, it was a quiet game for Owen Treat. They got to get him going when they want to win ball games, and he just wasn't really hit at his best yesterday. Well, you know, that's what impressed me yesterday with uh, Harrisburg, of course, Candid Emery. Andy, you know, he's averaging triple figures just about. Yep. And, uh, I think they held him to, uh, I think he had 14 yesterday. That's that's what was unique. You know, I said before that game that, you know, when Andy's on, the Bulldogs are on, but it was an off day for him. But other guys around him picked up and helped the Bulldogs get that win. How'd you like to have an off day and get 14? <laughs> <laughs> but, Must be nice. Yeah, but usually that shows that Harrisburg is more than just a one-man yep, team. absolutely. Talked with Coach Fahrenbacher last night uh, going to supper, and, I mean, boy, he was just smiling from ear to ear. I can imagine. And, uh you know, we, we talked about, I think, on our pregame, you know, new coach, new system. Uh, they kind of struggled a little bit last year, a little under 500, but now it seemed like they've got it together and they've won about seven or eight in a row. All right, we are getting ready here for the National Anthem. We'll take a break, and uh, we'll be back in two minutes. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital, you can depend on us. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name, the Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. 
Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantera Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantera Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantera Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantera to learn more. Vantera, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. When you think of home, you think of warmth, comfort, and peace of mind. And that's exactly what you get when you choose propane from FS. With propane from Wabash Valley Service Company, you get our well-trained professional staff along with an array of products and services designed to ensure that your propane system is functioning properly and efficiently. Add to this a variety of convenient terms and ways to save money, and you've got the right solution to all your home energy needs. Call Wabash Valley Service Company today or visit fspropane.com for more information. Going through the minds of teenagers. As a coach, you said, well, yeah, fifth place is, but you come out fifth place, you go three and one in the tournament. Yeah. And, and you get some, uh, you know, get your, try to get your legs under you. And, and you know, the, the, sh the sad part about this is that these teams have already played and you, you like to play somebody different just to get a different look, a different feel. So getting ready for the uh, the starting lineups, the Carterville Lions, they will be the home team going to our left. And uh, the Vienna Eagles in their orange. And we need to obviously thank all of our sponsors this and every year for making our coverage of the holiday tournament possible. But especially these top tier sponsors. Not for them, there's simply no way we'd be able to bring live picture and audio as it happens from the 59th edition of the EHT. They include Farrell Hospital, Wabash Valley Service Company, Banterra Bank, Extreme Welding and Machine Services, Skates Valley Irrigation and SGI Trucking, State Farm Agents, Doug Graber in Albion and James Cook in Carmi. And not only those people that are going above and beyond, but all of our sponsors. Yes, all of our sponsors, all of our WRUL sports crew members who have worked many hours over the last three days, both here on site and back at the studio. We greatly appreciate it. And how about the 50,000 plus people who have tuned in to watch this on our sports YouTube channel. Just incredible numbers, incredible feedback from uh, what we've put together over the last two days. And it seems like sometimes saying thank you is not enough. But, Absolutely. Uh, uh, and we are, as far as I know, we're the only radio station that's carrying all 26 games of the live stream. Yes, yes. So uh, they've introduced the starting lineups for the uh, Lions, or for the Eagles of Vienna. Be number 10, Dayton Nichols, a 6'2 senior, along with Hunter Webb, a junior at six feet. Marcato Constante, a six foot senior. Owen Treat at 6'2 and a senior. And a big man in the middle, Buddy Clay, a senior at 6'2. So going with uh, four seniors and a junior, not a lot of size there. Stephen Dreher is the coach. And uh, Vianna likes to get up and down. We've talked about averaging probably about 70 a game. And defense is going to be the key, and Carterville can play it if they have to. Yeah, both teams very similar styles. Want to get up and down the floor very quickly. For the uh, Lions of Carterville, it's going to be number five, Josh Waller, a 5'11 senior. Number 10, Brandon Skelcher, a senior at six feet. Drew Barrington will wear number 11. He'll be a junior. Colden Hawkins, a 6'2 sophomore. You'll probably hear that name quite a bit. And then Braden Wakey, a senior at 6'3. Coached by Shane Hawkins, he'll go with Waller, Skelcher, Skelcher Barrington, Hawkins, Wakey. Wakey, we're already starting. <laughs> <laughs> I always think of that bottom, what is the Navy Seals? Yesterday was an easy day. Today's going to be an easy day. We've only got eight games. Yep. We'll get through them, Roger. We'll knock, we got knock them down. Two thirds done. We're about ready to go. Mark Goldman, Bob Blondie, and Brett Bondi will be the officials this morning. And, and, and I think of Bob Blondie, he is late 70s. Still going after it. Wow. Somebody, of course, he always he knows everyone. And, yep. Uh, they got ready to start. He did a game earlier sometime this week. And somebody asked him before they got ready to go on the floor to start the game. They said, well, Bob, did you shake hands with everyone? <laughs> you know, so... Well, but, with the amount of people in the gym, he probably could before this game starts. Yes, he could. A small crowd, but uh, again, you know, the kids, you're playing for pride, and, you know, you got a chance to go 3-1 and one here in this tournament. Vianna would like to get a little revenge 
on that four-point loss on their home court to the Lions of Carterville. I'm talking about pride. You know, if you're Carterville, you were the one seed in this tournament. If you come in and go one and two, that, yeah, that, yeah. that can't feel very good going into the new year. It'll be Webb for Vienna and Wakey for the Lions, and the tip is controlled in the backcourt. And Drew Barrington will come down and set the show. Vianna opens up in a straight man defense. Bounce pass on the left side to Waller. Has a screen, top of the key, left right wing to go to Barrington. A lot of screens being set against this. Wakey inside, trips and falls down. Picked up by Vianna, and that's gonna be a travel as they said, no, we don't have Euro steps here. Both teams swapping turnovers in the first possession. Well, again, how often do you play at 8.30 in the morning? <laughs> Vianna with the basketball. Waller comes around the screen, goes to the free throw line and kicks it out to Barrington. Back in the corner here is Hawkins. A sophomore puts it up off the rim, pulled out by Constante of Vianna. And here we go the other way. Quickly in the corner is Nichols. They try to go inside to Buddy Clay with a little soft baby hook. It's really cool how Buddy Clay does a lot of his work before he gets the basketball. That way when he catches it, just quick turn and shoot. Skip pass across to Waller. Inside, they go with it to Wakey. Nothing there out front to Hawkins. Drive, spins at the free throw line. Step back. Oh, he had Wakey wide open. Wakey thought he was going to shoot the ball and got in position to rebound. And the ball goes out of bounds. Another turnover for Carterville. As the Eagles bring it down, they've got Constante on the wing. Fires out to Owen Treat. And what do you think? Nice boot by Treat. That's what we've gotten used to see him do along with the three-point shot. Nice shot, fake and drive. And Vianna opens up a quick 4-0 lead. Top of the key is Hawkins. It goes on the right side to Skelcher. He tries to drive. Bodies hit the floor in the hands of Wakey. Went for the dunk, partially blocked by Webb. And the Eagles push it down the court. Here is Barrington for three. Off the front of the rim, pulled down by Carterville. Barrington penetrates and then brings it back out. And Hawkins is going to fire a three. Never missed three in a row in his life. And Carville trying to get something going. They rely on the sophomore Hawkins get their first field goal. He had a brother that could play a little bit last Absolutely. year, too. Driving the wet here is Webb. Takes it to the hole too strong off the glass, but Vianna gets the rebound. Out to treat. Underneath is Barrington, or Webb. Yesterday, offensive rebounds killed Carterville. Another one right there for Vianna that leads to a basket. 6-3. Vianna, no look pass inside to Wakey and one. Good move, a great pass, no look into Braden Wakey, the 6-3 senior. So count the hoop and give him the harm. I mentioned offensive rebounds in that game against Harrisburg yesterday. The Bulldogs, I think, had 16 offensive rebounds and turned about 14 of those into points. And you know, when you lose by eight, that had to eat Shane Hawkins alive last night, trying to get some sleep. Oh, I would imagine. People say, well, if the free throw is good. And is it Zahn, X-A-N, Zahn Guthrie? I've been saying Zan. Okay. Six, seven, senior. Wow. So here comes the Eagles with the basketball. We're tied at six. Nichols. Kicks it out back out front. Now we're gonna, he's going to be a screener. Owen Treat down in the corner, trying to drive in traffic. Pass to Clay. He's fouled. Boy, tell, he threaded a needle with that bounce pass. I was going to say, that was a hard pass to get through. Normally, you don't see point guards try to bounce it when they're that close to the rim. But Clay was open. Good pass from Webb and a couple of free throws coming up. Foul was charged to Guthrie. He just came in the ball game. Clay's free throw is short. I remember him playing last year coming off the bench. He was really a crowd favorite. Yes, he was. He's always got a smile on his face. Big grin before the free throw. He knew he was going to make it. That's why. 7-6. Vianna goes up. We played almost three minutes. Barrington for the basketball. He's going to go left. Stop. A little shake and bake. No good. Got his rebound. Nope. And pulled down again, this time by Waller. Carterville crashing the offensive glass early here in this ball game. Hawkins tries to go to the baseline. He's going to be fouled by Webb. First foul on Webb, second foul on Vianna here in the first period. 
Eagles Valley and Levin under Webb is first team. Barrington will inbound it. They're going to run a screen. Give it to Hawkins. Top of the key is Skelcher. Leaves it for Waller to the free throw line. He's going to back it back out. Right side to Skelcher to the free throw line. Stops and nobody there. Gives it to Guthrie, the 6 7 player. Can't get it as it rolls off the side of the rim. Eagles fly down the court. Here is Treat to Nichols in the corner. Shovel pass underneath. Boy, oh, and Clay could not get it to go. Missed it from point blank, and we're going to get a reach around on Owen Treat. Again, a perfect setup. I think that was Webb that gave him a good pass, and Clay was right there at the rim. They got that the thing called a backboard up there, Roger. You want to try to use that when you're in front of the rim, and he tried to float it in. At any missed time. It. Any time it seemed like it's a thing of the past. 7 6. Viana with the lead. Carterville with the basketball. Here is Waller. He's going to drive to the elbow, drop back, and leave it for Skelcher. He's going to penetrate in the lane outside. Hawkins for three. Air ball. Rebound. Guthrie runs it down for the Lions. Give it back. Hawkins is going to try it again. Never missed two in a row in his life. Not once. Back to back triples, and Carterville gets their first lead at 9 to 7. 3.50 to go here in the quarter. Here is Webb, top of the key. They go with it to Nichols. Treat, give and go. Basketball 101. Nice screen and roll. Good feed by. And to give Webb the basket. Shot put up, will not drop. Lead pass intended, stolen away by Carterville. Inside, shot going up. Skelcher got the turn, uh, got the basketball after the turnover. Couldn't believe how open he was. One dribble, 11-9, long three, short. Rebound right there is Webb. He has six. Quickly down court, here comes Carterville, and trying to go up with it is Waller, and he is hammered. Well, with Carterville, you've got to get back down the court. Well, and you see how quickly both these teams want to get up and down. That's their style of offense, what they thrive on. I thought yesterday both Massac and Harrisburg did a good job of limiting that full court transition, making these two teams play in the half court. First free throw by Waller is good. Substitution coming in for Carterville. Number three is Alex Kimbrough. He is a junior at 5'11". Neither team really big. Second free throw is good. He don't take away the 6'7 Guthrie. I say Carterville's got some height. As far as Vienna, you know, Clay, Listed at 6'2", but he's a he's a bulky 6'2". Yes. Quickly down court. Here comes Webb. They brought Kimbrough in for def defensive purposes, and he slapped that one away. Here goes Hunter Webb. Free throw line extended out front. Hawkins faked the three. Going to penetrate. Finger roll. He got it. Kids going to be fun to watch over the next couple of years. Just a yeah, sophomore. Quick down court, and there is the steal. And ball was slapped out of bounds. Number 13 snuck in there. Is there such a word as that? Snuck? Snuck. That's a word, yes. Okay. Caden Willis, Wilson, 5'10 sophomore for Carterville. And I saw Vienna had somebody come in. Number three, Winterrobe checked in. Joe Winterrobe. Okay. Already got it down. Inside, trying to make some noise. Will not go. And a shot put up twice. And Dayton Nichols could not get it to go. Put it up, missed it, got his own rebound, tried again. Tell hey, you what, the way both teams are crashing the board, it's a war inside. It is, and, and Nichols went up to try to grab the rebound. Ball came down, hit him into the thigh, and then doinked and nailed Colton Hawkins right in the face. But Nichols able to keep with it, draw the foul. And the southpaw nails the first one. I remember many years, Joey Lane would help me, you know, on some of this. Joe was left-handed, and some kid, well, like uh, Nichols, he'd say, you know why he's so good? Because he's left-handed. There you go. All right, second one is no good, and the rebound is pulled down by Hawkins. 15 to 12, Carterville on top, driving the baseline, lost control. 
was Wilson. We go the other way, skip pass out, top of the circle. Here is Treat, nice move. Inside intended for Webb, and the ball goes out of bounds. Turnover, Vianna. I think Vianna at times is trying to do a little bit too much. That's now five turnovers against the Eagles. Wow. Lions with the basketball from the right elbow. Too strong, rebound pulled down by Hawkins. Puts it up again, nope, ball is tipped out. Who's got it? Wilson comes down with it for, or up, uh, Winterrod. Here is Owen Treat, works the right side. Winterrod, he's gonna fire from three, Bowden. Well, it's nice to get somebody come off the bench like that, can drill it, we're tied at 15. Here is Wilson. Give it to Barrington, down deep in the corner to Kimbrough. Stolen away by Nichols. We go the other way, running the court, loose ball. And a great save there by Vianna. Almost a scrum at midcourt. I've got it, you take it. Here is Hawkins. Penetrates, floater, air ball. Rebound Vianna, and we go the other way. Tied at 15, we're under a minute. They leave Winterrod open. He says, thank you very much. Joe Winterrod off the bench. Couple of three-point shots to spark this Vianna team. 18-15, that's the kind of what I expected. Absolutely. Kind of like, hurry up and shoot it so we can get it back and we can shoot it. Barrington drives to the corner, nothing there, brings it back out. Vianna <coughs> looks more like a 2-3 zone right now. 28 seconds. We'll they play for the last shot, we will see. Here is Wilson with the basketball in trouble. Now they've stayed, they've stayed in their man. And standing with the ball on the jump circle is Hawkins. He's gonna drive, stopped at the elbow. Leaves it down in the corner for Kimbrough. Deep pass to Zan Guntry. Will not go. Vianna comes with the rebound. They've got four seconds. Here is Treat in the corner. Throws a high lob to no avail, and that ends one quarter of play with a score. The Vienna Eagles 18, the Carterville Lions 15. We'll be back in a minute. Revolutionize your welding experience at Extreme Welding and Machine Services. Highway 45, El Dorado, the hub for all things welding. Front Retail Store is your one-stop shop featuring welding rods, wires, hydraulic hoses, fittings, welding gases, and abrasives. Illinois certified inspection lane, hydraulic cylinder repair, and much more. Metal sold by the foot and industrial gases without leasing agreements. Own your tank, pay only for contents. Join Extreme Welding and Machine Services, a family-owned haven for all welding enthusiasts. I decided to attend SIC because of the great scholarship that I was awarded. I received an archery scholarship. I'm taking IT cybersecurity. My favorite part of the IT program is definitely going to class every day. Professor Scott makes it really fun and he lets us do a lot of hands-on things and that helps me learn a lot. My experience on the archery team so far I love it. The people are great. The archery coach is awesome. Be a part of the action at SIC. Eighteen fifteen, Vianna on top of Carterville, and this is kind of what we expected. You know, Vianna averaging seventy a game. Well, times four would be seventy-two, but sometimes we've seen teams come out like that and then go back in the second quarter. Each team scores six or seven or eight, or be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, like I said before the game, these two teams very similar styles, want to get up and down, and for the most part, they've done that so far. First one to shoot is going to get the shot up. There's Tommy Ho, Ho Hubbard. I'll try it again. Hebner misses the shot. And here comes Carterville on the left side. Hawkins tries to drive in the left corner. The ball is knocked away. Still retains possession as Hawkins went to the corner. And good double team there by Vianna. For Vianna, we've got another sub in the uh, ball game number two, Jacob Waters. Waters, a 6'3 senior. Brand Skelter back in the game for Carterville as well. Trying to look inside. They do get one ball is knocked away. And it always happens to somebody like it. Somebody walks right in front yep, of you. Right at the worst time possible. Yeah. Anyway, Carterville's got the basketball back. Inbounds pass. Gets it right back out front. Here's Hawkins, fakes the three. He's going to drive in traffic. Still trying to drive it, dribbles it. 
Thought it went off his foot, went off a Vienna player. A little too much dribbling, I think. Shane yes, Hawkins. Here, Shane, Shane Hawkins saying move the ball. Too much dribbling. Try to get somebody open. So here is Skelcher, top of the key. Now Kimbrough, he's going to penetrate. Has it knocked away? Vienna on the run. Here's Treat. Leaves it. Oh, what a pass to Jacob Waters, who just came into the ball game. And that makes it a five-point lead, 20 to 15 for Vienna. Hawkins deep in the corner. Now Barrington, he's going to drive to the elbow, put up a shot. It's short. Rebound tipped out. Who's got it? Run down is Skelcher. He puts it up, rejected. They tip it ahead on a breakaway. And laying it up is Winterrod. And Shane Hawkins wants a timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantera Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantera Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantera Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantera to learn more. Vantera, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. All right, Carterville calls a timeout, tries to stop the damage as uh, Vian has opened up a seven-point lead, 22-15. Yeah, Vians have really not looked like themselves in this first half. And give credit to Viana. They're putting Carterville in some uncomfortable spots. Shane Hawkins isn't too pleased with how the Lions are working offensively. He wants them to move the ball around more. A lot of quick shots, quick drives. You know, two very quick-paced teams, but at the same time, you still got to be patient and get a good shot. Got, yeah, wait for it to happen rather than make it happen. All right, here is Carterville now with the basketball. Here is Wilson. He'll dribble along the three-point line. Kick it on a far side, Skelcher. Down in the corner they go with it to Wilson. Out front. Oh, may have been a little shaken bake. Here's Kimbrough. He'll fire a three. Trying to stop the damage. Kimbrough off the bench with his first bucket. Good answer there for Carter after the timeout. Here's Hold Hubner. Now Winterrod, he's come off the bench, hit a couple of points, a couple of baskets. Good drive by Owen Treat. How he got that shot off. I was going to say, I have no <laughs> idea how he got that shot off. Quickly down court, here's a shot put up. Will not drop, rebound inside, pulled down by Winterrod. Out front, trying to drive. Got a foul on Owen Treat as Barrington. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul goes against Hole Hubner. That's his first first foul in this second quarter. 5.43 to go here in the first half. As he makes the first free throw. Makes it a 24-18 ball game. Vienna on top. They led 18-15 at the break. Second one. Ditto. Lions five of five from the free throw line. And Carterville trying to put a little bit of pressure in the backcourt. And Caden Wilson picks up the personal. One foul apiece. I'm still getting used to the four fouls on the a quarter and eliminating the one-on-one. -on -one. Trying to do a little shake and bake here as Webb tries to shuffle it. You know, seven turnovers now for Vienna, and really they've all come in situations where they're just trying to do too much. Trying to get a little too flashy. Yeah, you know, they'll penetrate in 12, 14 feet, and they want to go five or six, and that's where the uh, war starts inside. Here is Hawkins. On the right side is Barrington. Wilson in the corner. They find somebody open on the other side. And that Hawkins. was Hawkins. Here comes Owen Treat in the corner. Here's Winterrod. Back out front, Treat has the ball knocked away, picked up by Winterrod. He's going to go coast to coast, and we're going to get a blocking foul. That'll have been Kimbrough. Lions foul, three. Winterrod tried to come in the near corner. He faked the pass. He had Webb open for three. Carville didn't bite, but Winterrod's still able to pick up the foul. Winterrod off the bench has eight points. Started out and banged. Back-to-back -back triples. Now he has nine. He'll have another. 25-20. Twenty. 
Vienna on top. Second free throw is up. 26 20 as the ball nestles in. Six point lead. See what Carterville can come up with here as Barrington gives to Hawkins on the side. Trying to drive is Wilson. Deep in the corner. Skelcher dribbles around. They play around the perimeter. They want to pass. They're doing some passing, but they're just going east and west. In the corner, here's Skelcher for three. Good extra pass that time. Vianna bit in on the shot fake, left Skelcher open in the corner, hit the three. Here's Hunter Webb, drives into a triple train. Here comes Winterrod down the lane, put up a floater too strong. Comes hard the other way. Top of the key, on the dribble is Skelcher. Fires it in the corner, here's Wilson, kicks it out to Hawkins and he buries a triple. His third three in the ball game, and all of a sudden, it's 26-26. Back-to-back triples, good answer by Carterville. Shade under four minutes to go here in the first half. Loser goes home, winner plays tonight at six. Ball is stripped away. Here comes Hawkins. Stops at the elbow, hesitation dribble, looks for somebody. Almost threw it away. Wilson's going to drive. Out to Skelcher for three. Nope. Rebound way up, did. Wow, Caden Wilson, I believe he could pick the nickel off the top of the backboard for the offensive stick back. That's eight in a row, scored by Carterville. Trying to drive, Owen Treat, shovel pass inside, Vianna and uh, Carrie Mills try it again. Who are we playing? Carterville. Carterville yeah. and yeah. Vianna. Okay, thank you, thank you. Well, and you know, Carterville, their defense is what makes them such a good ball club, we're seeing that right now. Defense leading to offense, putting Vianna in tough spots. I think Carterville is finally starting to wake up a little bit. Yeah, 23 into the ball game for uh, Carterville. That's Lawrence Greer as Vianna looking to inbound it. And they have to go deep with it to Webb. Inside to Buddy Clay. They get the ball inside to Clay. That's almost money in the bank. That stops an 8-0 run. Tied at 28, three minutes left here in the first half. There's a long three-point shot put up by Barrington, snibbed the front of the rim. Quickly down court, Vianna trying to push it a little bit. Here's Webb, now Treat. On the far side, Holt Hubner for a three. It's short, runs his own rebound back, but it's knocked away by Hawkins. And Vianna will slow it down. 28-28, 2.35 to go here in the first half. Coach Shane Hawkins of Carterville calls out a play and Seeing people get into position. 2.24 left, first half. Here is Hawkins. Doing a little dribbling back and forth. Nothing happening, here's Barrington. Lawrence Greer with the basketball. Now Skelcher trying to get around the screen. Kick it out in the corner, Greer three-pointer won't go. Hawkins with the rebound. Back out to Greer. Deep corner, Skelcher, boom. Second chance opportunities. Wow. Four threes this quarter for Carterville. And they go up 31-28. Owen Treat, thought about a three, gives it to Webb. Webb's going to penetrate. Oh, nice layup. Webb. Webb has eight. 31-30. Long three-point shot. That was a brick. Rebound. Buddy Clay had it knocked out of his hand. Greer looking for somebody. Instead, he threw it to Owen Treat. And Treat had the fast break. He's going to wait for help. Goes on the side to Winterrod. Treat from the volleyball line. Air ball. I started to say, that's a fur piece. Well, and he normally can make that shot. That's, that's his range. Rarely does he uh, come up empty like that. He had, he had plenty of time. He just couldn't. Adjust his sights on a scope. Vianna just two for seven from three-point range today. Here comes Barrington. Leaves it for Skelcher, works the right side, comes high with it to Wakey back in the ball game. Hawkins almost lost it. Skip pass, stolen away by Buddy Clay. Lead pass to Nichols. And another, oh, wow. Saw, he saw Hunter Webb coming out of the corner of his eye, laid it up. 
and laid it in. And so great, Viana. Great pass there from Tate Nichols. Wow, threaded a needle with that bounce pass. 32-31, Viana by one. 40 seconds. Will Hawkins play for Coach Hawkins play for one shot? We shall see. Wakey with the basketball. And Hawkins back to Wakey. Barrington pops out. Now Skelcher just run a little, little rotation. Oh, almost a steal. There's Hawkins in the corner, trying to drive his Barrington, and we're going to get a foul against maybe that Owen Treat. You'd be correct. That was going to be Buddy Clay. I thought he was the one that tried to draw the charge, but they called the foul before that. That's Treat second. Sometimes you see a scrum like that and just pick one. Foul does go against Treat. 18 seconds to go here in the first half. 32-31, Vienna. Barrington, or they're going to have a substitution. Vienna will send in Winterrod. And Carterville counters with Josh Waller. So he's got all guards in. Carterville does. Barrington to inbound it to Skelcher. Now Hawkins. You know who's probably going to take the last shot. Here's Barrington. Back to Hawkins. Barrington. Right near center line. Down to six seconds. And a foul by Hunter Webb. And, you know, that was a pretty good foul. Just say, not a bad foul. You're not in the bonus yet. Don't want to give him anything easy here in the final seconds. And had him pushed almost all the way to the center line. But now it gives him a chance to set up in the backcourt. We're down to four seconds here on the dribble. And a drive. And we got a foul at the buzzer. They didn't get a shot off. Was it on the shot, though, or was it on the floor? Yes. Yeah, they say on the shot. On the shot. Foul went against. Joe Winterrod, and so going to the line will be number 11, Drew Barrington, who is two for two. He's three for three. Carterville is a team six for six. Make it seven for seven. So that ends the first half with the score. The Carterville Lions 33, the Vianna Eagles 32, back in three minutes. Holy pancake bat dude, our bat ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with the company that lives and works in the same community that you do. When it comes to the comfort and safety of your family, you can trust Wabash Valley FS. We have highly trained service professionals who regularly monitor your system for proper operation, safety, and maximum efficiency. So you can be sure that FS Propane will leave your family with the good, warm feelings all season long. Call your Wabash Valley FS today or visit fspropane.com for more information. Your partner in auto repair. That's Cherry Street Automotive in Carmi. You get service, expertise, and I promise you'll drive away satisfied. Complete engine and body repair, 24-hour a day wrecker and towing service, tires from sales and service, and repair including muffler service, brakes, shocks, suspension, and more. When quality counts, count on Cherry Street Automotive in Carmi. Your partner in auto repair. Call 382-7165 today. Welcome to Pro Rehab Carmi, where our passion is getting you back to life faster. It is our privilege to walk with you every step of the way using evidence-based treatments specifically created just for you. Whether it's sports, general orthopedics, or pelvic floor rehab, you are in the right hands. Your results are worth fighting for, and our team fights for you. Call 384-7872 or visit Pro Rehab on Main in Carmi and get back to life faster. At Top Shelf Discounters, the business model is simple. High quality, brand new home furnishings at discounted prices. Top Shelf Discounters, 215 North Walnut in Carmine. Open Saturdays 10 to 2 and by appointment. Find Top Shelf Discounters on Facebook for promotions and giveaways.
Sin Energy Partners provide fuels, lubricants, and propane across the tri-state, offering price risk management, hedging programs, remote tank monitoring, and more. Ask about propane budget program and scheduled deliveries. Call David South today, 812-774-6529. Roark Trucking and Roark Transport in Carmine. Driving the distance, delivering the difference. Commercial or residential. In hydrous propane and fuel. Rock, dirt, and lime. Parking lots, driveways, and washouts. Farmers depend on Roark Trucking and Roark Transport to deliver their lime when and where they need it. Remember Roark Trucking and Roark Transport for your next job or your next haul. Fast and dependable. Call Roark Transport and Roark Trucking. 618-265-3665. All right, back here at halftime, Vienna on the short end of a 33-32 ball game. They led Carterville 18-15 at the break, but a couple of free throws there after the buzzer gives Carterville the 33-32 lead. Look at the scoring, first of all, for the Lions. Uh, Colton Hawkins leads the way with 11. They got Brandon Skelcher with eight. He's got a couple of threes in there. Then it's kind of scattered, two points from Josh Waller, four from Drew Barrington, all at the charity stripe. Braden Wakey with three, Alex Kimbrough with three, and Caden Willis with two. For the Eagles of Vienna, Joe Winteroud came across the came out of the came off the bench. He has ten. Hunter Webb with ten. Five from Buddy Clay. 0-1-3 with only four points. A bucket by Jacob Waters and a free throw by Dayton Nichols. 33-32. So you have some stuff. Stuff and stats. There you go. Something. I got something. something. You All got right. something. We got to wake up. Uh, Carterville there in the first half. They were 10 of 29 from the field, 4 of 16 from 2, uh, 6 of 13 from beyond the arc. They did go 7 for 7 at the free throw line. Nine offensive rebounds there in the first half for Carterville and seven turnovers. For Vienna, they were 14 of 22 from the field, 12 of 15 from inside the arc, 2 of 7 from beyond the arc, 4 of 6 from the free throw line. Just three offensive rebounds and seven turnovers for the Eagles. You know, one of the things that's interesting, just look at the scoring um, for uh, Vienna, of course, Owen Treats, their big gun. He only has two field goals. Uh, Buddy Clay has a couple of field goals. And your inside-outside game, Carterville shut down. And it was kind of the same thing yesterday. We said if Owen Treat doesn't get going, Vienna's going to have a hard time. And they've looked good at times this morning. They only trail by a point. They led by three at, at the end of the first quarter. But... Uh, they've got to get him in rhythm offensively. No question about it. 33-32, Carterville here at halftime. We'll take a break and be right back. The countdown is on. Enjoy the Carmi Eclipse Festival featuring Eddie Montgomery. This is my time. The front men. Maybe I'm amazed by you. Drew Baldridge and Tailgate Revival. See somebody's dog. Saturday, April 6th at Burl's Woods Bicentennial Park. Visit CarmyFest.com for tickets and more information. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. Holy pancake, Bat Dude. Our Bat Ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll look you my bike need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products only one name should come to mind the skates group serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years and the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name the skates group a family-owned business treating customers like family if you need irrigation for the farm trucking to or from the farm or river terminal needs call the skates group 618-968-2471 the most trusted name in agriculture 
Revolutionize your welding experience at Extreme Welding and Machine Services. Highway 45, El Dorado, the hub for all things welding. Front Retail Store is your one-stop shop featuring welding rods, wires, hydraulic hoses, fittings, welding gases, and abrasives. Illinois Certified Inspection Lane, hydraulic cylinder repair, and much more. Metal sold by the foot and industrial gases without leasing agreements. Own your tank, pay only for contents. Join Extreme Welding and Machine Services, a family-owned haven for all welding enthusiasts. 2023 is almost over. That means it's time for Expressway 4's year-end sales event. Like brand new 2023 F-150 starting at $36,990 plus 2.9% APR for 72 months with special year-end pricing on all new F-150 crew cabs. Price is so low we are not allowed to say. Go to ExpresswayFordOnline.com to see them. Now is the time to get the best deal on a new Ford from Expressway Ford in Mount Vernon. Expressway Ford, more Fords for less. Before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber. From cabinets and flooring, doors and paint, lumber and hardware, to shingles and siding. Knowledgeable and friendly staff that have your back on all those home projects and even deliver to your door. So before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber for the woods, the goods, and the know-how. Visit Carmi Lumber, North 3rd Street in Carmi and CarmiLumber.net. Conquer the cold this winter at your local Hux Market. Earn big rewards with the Hux Bucks loyalty program and save on fuel, in-store specials, and even catering. Download the free Hux Bucks app today and enjoy a large big swig or coffee for just 99 cents. Evil Light Creative Studio in Carmine is a full-service communications and design consultancy. We are excited to make your design project a reality. Reach out to us to see how we can create something amazing together all within your budget. Evil Light Creative Studio, what can we create with you? All right, back here at halftime. Carterville on top, 33-32. Vianna's already back on the floor. Got about a minute here before the horn. Carterville is still in the lineup, and I know Coach Hawkins was kind of upset. They may have had a, what you call a come-to-Jesus meeting there at halftime to uh, get his Lions fired. Yeah, I would have liked to be a fly on the wall in that locker room just to see kind of what their approach is. And they played better at the end of that right. first half, came back to take the lead, but... I'd say the majority of those first two quarters, you know, not their best basketball. And again, it, it's an odd situation. Talked about you got to find your own kind of momentum or uh, motivation for this game because, okay, it's fifth place, playing at 8.30 in the morning, nobody's here. So, you know, it, it's got to be tough for a high school kid. And I think he's got to drive home the fact, too, guys, we were the number one seed. Sure, we got upset, but we can still go 3-1 and one in this tournament. You know, I was just thinking of a quick story this morning. I don't think my wife is listening, but I got home last night, and on the way home, it was snowing. Nice flakes and all that. And she was about half asleep in a recliner with a book folded in her hand, TV on. And I told her, I said, oh, it's snowing outside. She said, really? She said, is it light, thick, heavy? I said, well, I said, visualize the last 15 seconds of a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> oh, she kind of said. Beautiful. Yeah, and I said it with a smirk. And then, oh, shut up. You know, so. But anyway, they're talking about snow the next day or two. Well, and nothing like Southern Illinois weather, like <laughs> 70 degrees on Christmas and then snowing three days later. So yeah. go figure. I was trying to think. I don't know how long ago it's been, but I don't remember if it was the opening day or we got in one day, and th this tournament was canceled for one day. Well, if you recall last year, I'm surprised they didn't postpone it because it took me about an hour to get here last yes. year on the first day. Snowed the night before. That was right after we had that ice storm a few days before. Yes. It's been a while since they've postponed anything here because of snow. But That's that's the only time I can remember. It's been several years. Yeah. All right, here we go. Vianna, or uh, Carterville basketball. We begin the second quarter, moving to our right. Here is Josh Waller. Little shovel gives it to Skelcher. Down in the corner, they go to Wakey. Nothing there. Skip across. Here goes a no-look pass inside. And Wakey could not get it to go down, a little bit short. It was a great pass from Hawkins. Wow. You mentioned the no look, hit Wakey right in the chest. And I mean, Wakey's had a tough tournament. He's been dealing with foul trouble pretty much all three games Carterville's played and couldn't get that one to go. All right, Vianna basketball, they trail by one. We've got Hunter Webb high on the right side to try to go inside with, oh, nice move by Owen Treat and he put it up short. Fighting for the loose ball, goes out of bounds. They got Treat open in there on a low post. 
He put it up in traffic and just didn't quite get it high enough. Million dollar move and about a 10 cent shot there for right, Noah right. Tree. Had it right in front of the rim, left it short. What you want, trying to inbounds play. They go to Buddy Clay. Nice touch by Clay wow. off the back of the rim. Wasn't pretty, but it counts. Here's Skelcher. Whoa, watch. Ooh, almost a travel. Here's Barrington. Inside to Wakey. He's going to put it up short. Gets his own rebound. Puts it on the floor. Second time won't go. Gets the third time. Wow, Brady Wakey crashing the boards. Great job staying with it. 35-34 Carterville out front. Here come the Eagles in traffic. Pass out to Treat. He's going to go up, and he is fouled and won. That's the Owen Treat we've come to know in this tournament. You know he's a great shooter, but also a great slasher. Good job with the nice fake. Driving in, finishing through the contact. Boy, good body control. He kind of a little shucking and jiving while he was in the air. So Vianna regains the lead at 36-35. Treat was sixth in the game. Seven in the game. So 37-35, Vianna regains the lead. Lions will bring it down. Here's Barrington. Now Hawkins on the left wing. Skelcher from 12. Won't go and a good rebound there by Hunter Webb, the six foot junior, went up high, ball slapped out of bounds. Vianna will retain possession. So here come the Eagles with a two point lead in the basketball. 6.20 left here in the third quarter. Treat is going to drive in the corner, kick it back out. Treat gets it deep in the far corner. Top of the circle is Nichols. Sets the screen for Treat, right, left side. They go with a Constante. Constante down in the corner. Nichols. Webb. Oh, they look for a back door. They got Treat went up and he was fouled. Good back door cut. But he was fouled on Col Colton Hawkins. Oh, and Treat heard us talking about him at halftime. He's trying to get more involved here in the second half. Couple of nice plays and a good back door cut there. Go to the free throw line for two. And he got that one. Well, in his first two minutes, Treat has as many points as he had in the first 16. He has eight. Short. Rebound on the floor. Trying to fight for it and coming up with it. And that's going to be a travel. As Waller was on the floor, and he did fine till he turned around and stood up. And when you do that, you can't do that on Thursdays at El Dorado. Not at 9.14 in the morning either. <laughs> when you're down three points. So many variables, you know, people are doing. <laughs> Fine. So there's Vianna, Constante. Treat comes out between the rings. He stands on a volleyball line. Goes right corner to Webb. Now Nichols. Inside, Treat comes around a double screen. Fires it out to Constante for three. That one is short. Treat with a rebound. Good fake. Put it up short. And clearing. Is Hawkins down the court on a, a good fast break as Kelcher went up with it and slapped out of bounds by Nichols. So Carterville will keep control of it under their own basket and they trail 38 35. We've got 527 left here in the third period. Loser goes home, winner comes back at 6 o'clock this evening. Hawkins high left. Coming around the screen here is Webb. Couple of dribbles, left wing, short, rebound goes out of bounds. Touch last by Viana. So now they will have it. Carterville will deep in Coffin Corner. Webb will trigger. Or excuse me, Barrington. Hawkins. Right side to Caden Wilson. Inside for Wakey, knocked away by Clay. He gets it back, tries to put it on the floor. Loose ball. Who's got it? When they come up with it is Webb. Eagles have numbers. And we force up a shot is no good. High rebound inside. And a great effort there by Hunter Webb. Hunter Webb. what, he elevated on that one. He's got some hops. Saw him dunk a couple times in pregame warm-ups. That's illegal. You can't do that in warm-ups. <laughs> Coming down the other way real quick. And 
Drew Barrington gets his first field goal to go along with four free throws. And Carterville still hanging around after they had that lead, 40-37, Vianna by three. And Owen Treat in the jump circle. Goes inside to Webb, puts up a floater, will not go, and is pulled down by Barrington. Quickly down court, he's gonna try and take it all the way, and he does, Drew Barrington has eight. And they try to go a three-quarter court pass as uh, Nichols was open. Hawkins tried to get it. He drilled him. And that's going to be, what, his second? Yes, his second. Team third here in the third. Lawrence Greer back into the ball game for Carterville. They go inside to Buddy Clay. Spin move. Out front, they kick it. Inside, he goes again. It's going to be... As it's going to be a foul as Buddy Clay went up with it. Coach Hawkins wanted a uh, jump ball. Wanted a jump ball, and they called it a foul. I thought they'd be shooting. Inside to Clay, up with the left hand. Clay, was, he is deceptively a good basketball player. So quick when he gets the ball down wow. low. Here's Hawkins. Left side to Wilson in traffic. Here's Wilson again. Boy, what a quick move, and he's going to be fouled by Nichols. Wilson, boy, that one step, just a sophomore at 5'10", and he will go to the line to shoot a couple. Carterville's got a good mix of young and old players. Mentioned the sophomores like Wilson. Hawkins, only a sophomore. And... You know, they had a big senior class last year, but these younger groups now working their way into the varsity level, doing pretty good. No question about that. Second free throw will not go, and we're going to get a foul on Carterville's Lawrence Greer going over the back. So as it looks like Carterville's going to put a little pressure in the backcourt. Vianna on top, 42-40, and... They start to throw it in. I don't know. They said that was a fifth foul there on that uh, mm. yep. rebound. So now the key is, do the referees, and not to take anything away from do they remember who it was? That's, that's the hard part. That happened a couple of times yesterday. Well, what game was that? <laughs> that was the, um, the Mass Act kind of game, I believe, that they you know, yeah. thought the wrong person was shooting it, then had to rediscuss. Right. That's going to be a challenge for these officials as this new rule kind of gets adapted. Hunter Webb goes to the line. He misses his first. But what was funny is they're walking down the court. Owen Treat walks <laughs> to the free throw line. Do Brett. your best to trick him. <laughs> yeah, Brett Blondie says, uh, no, not on Thursdays. Second free throw. Got the bounce. Back to a three-point lead, 43-40. And we're going to get a hold. A holding foul. Is that on Treat? Yep. yep, that's three. Treat was like a defensive back in football, trying to stop a receiver from running away from him, and he held Hawkins and draws the foul. But we do that in practice. It's not a foul in practice. 43-40. Carterville down by three. 3.45 to go here in the third. And a close ball game. I think Vianna's largest lead was five. There's a backdoor pass, and got it to yep. go. And that was a beautiful play design. Did you see how they had that set up, Roger? Wilson faked like he was coming up, then went back. He was wide open. Wow, 43-42 in traffic. And that was Hunter Webb. He's got 15 in the ball game, five this quarter. Lead for Vianna, back to five, 45-42. Brooklyn, the offensive end, Barrington. Shot put up a three-pointer by Lawrence Greer gets his first bucket. Coming off the bench in this kind of ball game, took a lot of moxie to fire Absolutely. that Absolutely. Lob inside to Clay. He is going to be called. Foul is going to go against Carterville. Could be against Greer, who just hit the three-point shot. They'll call the foul. Well, we'll be, uh, well, it doesn't matter if it's shooting or not. Could be two free two throws shots. for Buddy Clay. All right. 
46 as Clay makes, makes the first one. He has 10 in the ball game. He's two of three from the line. Alex Kimbrough checks in for Brandon Skelcher. And who's that came in for Viana? Waters. Jacob Waters. I've got him down. He makes them both. Yeah, my two look like a three, and I thought I can't have three, two threes in there. 47-45. Hawkins crosses the 10 seconds drive. He's gonna go coast to host, coast, kick it out, three-point shot put up, will not drop. Rebound inside to Barrington. He's gonna put it up short and pulling down the rebound was Jacob Waters. Here come the Eagles. Hold Hubner on the far side, little shake and bake from 15, rims in and out and pulled down by Carterville. Trying to penetrate, Barrington tries to do too much. Will it count? And they do count the basket on a spin and move. Boy, a little shucking and jiving and a great move by Barrington. He has 10 in the ball game. Barrington's been one of the best finishers around the rim in this tournament. Impressive what he can do when he's in the air. He gets the roll. And Carterville got the lead back, 48-47. They've played even this quarter, 2-12. Here's Winterrod. Treat with a basketball. In the corner, they go to Winterrod. He buried a couple of threes earlier. Now Treat. Had the screen, screen and roll with Hubner. He put it up short. Coming down with it is Wilson. Ahead to Barrington, and he's gonna take it to the hole. Viana tried to pick up the charge, but it was uh, to no avail. Treat comes down, fires from 12. Took it right to the hole. Two, four, six, Treat with 10. 50-49 as Barrington. Just about taking charge of this ball game. He's got 13 in the game, nine in this quarter. He is foul coming down to the floor. Barrington, only a junior. So, Carterville will inbound it right in front of the scorer's bench. Barrington to run the show along the front, gives to Hawkins. Now they come out to Barrington. Almost lost it, trying to back his way in. He feels it. When you feel it, you're hot. And he is fouled before he can spin. And that should be the fifth foul. Foul before the shot. Before the shot, but it still should be. If that's the fourth or the fifth. They've got four. Yeah. Whatever it is, Barrington's going to shoot a couple. There okay, they yeah, there that's the fifth. Now, Barrington's kind of put the Lions on his shoulder and carried him this quarter. 50-49, Carterville by one. Carterville by two. Barrington's been, I believe, their leading scorer in this tournament. Played pretty well in their first two contests. A little bit slow start here, but has really picked it up here in the second half. He has 10 of their 18 points here in the third. That one, he got the roll. Carterville back on top, 52-49. We've got 108 as Owen Treat gives to Hold Hubner. Treat gets it back. Oh, they got it man inside. Give and go and Beautiful. count it. Beautiful. Beautiful give and go. Treat to Waters, back to Treat. Skip pass in the corner for the Lions. Out front, here goes Barrington. They're putting him on his back and he can't get it to go and Hold Hubner comes down with the rebound. Lead pass to Waters to Treat on a give and go. He starts to put it up, has it knocked away, wanted a foul, no call. 28 seconds. And Coach Hawkins says, guys, let's play for the one shot. Carterville with a one point lead, 52-51, and they've got the basketball with 17 seconds. So they will play for that last shot. Good jump switch. Barrington double teamed in the corner and has to throw it off the legs of Jacob Waters. That's one thing you know that coaches 
scream and holler, do not go yep. into a corner. There's so many spots where you can't go against a trap defense. That's one of them. Right. Get it inbound. Skip. Skip pass out front to Barrington. Step back three from the volleyball line is short. And that ends three quarters of play with a score. The Carterville Lions, 52. The Vienna Eagles, 51. Back in one minute. You don't live to bank, you bank to live. And that's why so many of our customers rely on First Mid for much more than banking alone. Beyond everyday financial services, we're a valued partner and advisor with the help and resources for the things you need and whatever you aspire to achieve. So whether you're buying groceries or budgeting your dream kitchen, protecting your life's work or laying the foundation for life after work, we're your bank for everything in the middle of anything. We're First Mid. First Mid Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. 52-51, I just noticed the balance scoring here for Vianna, scoring 15-12-11-10, and Carterville about the same, 15-11-8. It's been a back and forth ball game. Vianna led by three after one, Carterville by one after two, Lions a one point lead after three. This is one of those games you hate to see either team lose, yep. so it's been nip and tuck, one of the best games thus far in the tournament. Owen Treat from the elbow, can't get it to go, strong rebound. Up and in by Jacob Waters. And Vianna crawls back on top, 53-52. In the corner, shot three-pointer, got it. And that was by Caden Wilson. And so back on top, 55-53. With the basketball, here come Vianna. At the top of the key is Winterrod. Gives to Owen Treat, tells everybody, all right, let's get set up and let's run this show. Trying to maybe isolate him one-on-one. -on -one. Here he goes between the legs, almost lost control of it. Kicks it off to Waters. Now Winterrod's gonna do some little dribbling. Coming around the screen to Waters. Winterrod penetrates to the free throw line. Waters gonna try and drive. He does, he loses control of the basketball. Waters had the right idea. Ball just kind of away from him as he was dribbling with the left hand. Coming back into the ball game, Dayton Nichols as uh, Lawrence Greer gets a breather. Full court pressure, soft pressure by Viana, 55-53. They lead it by two. Here's a three-point shot, Skelcher, no, and right there to tip it in was Barrington. Wow, Bar seven. Barrington has led this team here in the second half. Well, if they try to go up with it on the other end, Webb tries to go up, it's a jump ball call. The ball belongs to Vienna. Wow, 17 points for Drew Barrington, 13 of them this half. And like I said, he has put the Lions on his shoulder, just a junior. They try to go to a half court pass, slapped out of bounds by Treat. If you're Vienna, gotta be careful. Can't let Carterville grow this lead. You're down by four. Got to get a couple of baskets to keep yourself from this one getting away. Would it be de deja vu the last time Carterville won 63-59? And we're kind of headed toward those scores right now. Here's Nichols way out front. Treat is on him. Come with it on the left side. Here's backdoor cut to Barrington. And it didn't go, but he's fouled. That was a great pass from Hawkins. Put it in the only spot Barrington can get it. And he'll shoot two free throws. Wow. And that was the fifth foul on Winterobe. Oh, wow. Well, that's going to be a loss. You know, he started the game, uh, came off the bench, buried back-to-back -back triples, added four more. And uh, so he's going to foul out. But had a good performance, had 10 points. And Constante comes back in. So Barrington, 
who is four, five, seven of seven, eight of eight. You always hate to say that, because as soon as you do, you hex him. 58-53, largest lead for Carterville. That one is short, good box off. No, good hustle there by Alex Kimbrough to try and save the basketball. Big possession here for Vi, and I gotta get this back to a one possession game. 6.14 left, Treat is gonna go coast to coast through one in the general direction, and as a result, it goes in. Treat with 14, cuts the lead to three. 58, here goes Barrington again, and he is gonna be fouled by Treat. And I believe that'll be four on yep. the young man. I wonder what Steven Jurer wants to do. You still got six minutes left to play. I, I know you need the offense, but I'd take him out. You just don't want to risk losing your best player. Yeah, that's always a, whatever decision he makes, half the crowd's wrong, I mean, disagrees with him. Little give and go inside. Wide open in the corner is Wilson. Three won't go. Tipped out and pulled down by Constante. Lead pass to Webb. Now Constante, they go down in the left corner and go around to the right side. Treat, they trail by three, 535 left in this one. And they're just playing catch. Sending cutters, trying to drive as Webb has it knocked away and stolen away by no other than Barrington. Here comes Kimbrough. Barrington, stop, pops, back out, and he is called for traveling. There was that Euro step that, you know, it's interesting, you know, you watch the officials, some call it, some don't. Well, and I thought he did a good job of keeping his pivot foot on the ground, but when he stepped to make the pass, that's when his pivot foot moved up and they called the travel. And he didn't mean to either. <coughs> Absolutely not. Here comes Viana, they trail by three. We approach the five minute mark. Here is Nichols, leaves it for Treat, steps from behind the arc and nestles it in. Tie game. Wow. 58. He has 17 in the game, five in his quarter. And Drew Barrington will cross the tip. Uh, he's just going to drive to the hole. Lost control. They're going to call a blocking foul on Vienna. It's on Webb. I'm, I'm kind of web, surprised yeah. with that call. I thought with the way Hawkins was driving in as he's slow to get up, I thought he was kind of going to be a, a control control foul. Yeah, it seemed like he looked like he came down on his, I hate to say it, but it looked like his tailbone. But there, you got the athletic trainer there from El Dorado. And boy, you know, you're a coach. You really, really appreciate that. Yes. So many times, of course, you know you're going to have him in a tournament, but sometimes you go to different schools and they don't have one and you worry about some kid getting hurt. Well, all we know is coach is ice and tape. Hawkins not putting much weight on that right foot, that right leg. It looked like it was his knee area that he was mm -hmm. kind of pointing towards and yeah, that's big. I mean, he's yeah. not the leading scorer for Carterville, but he has been doing a lot. And assuming he can't go the rest of this game, it's going to be tough for the Lions. Well, then you've got to I was starting to say, who's going to shoot? It wasn't a shooting foul. I wonder if he might have just banged knees with Webb when he was driving in. Drew Barrington will inbound it underneath their own goal. They look and look and finally goes deep to Skelcher. Skelcher dribbles around the perimeter, leaves it for Waller. Now here comes a little weave. Drew Barry Barrington. Works from the jump circle. 4.34 to go. We are knotted at 58. Now here comes Waller. Here's that rotation. Skelcher in traffic. Fires it back out to Waller. As they stand being picked up right out front. And again, just uh, trying to get a little movement. Catch somebody asleep. Maybe catch a back door. As Carterville being very patient, Skelcher dribbles in the lane, comes on the left side and leaves it for Barrington. He's gonna drive left elbow, spin move, in back door pass, up and no good, as Wilson couldn't get it to drop. Quickly, here come the Eagles flying down the court, shot up, it won't go, and tipped in. 
Great job by Webb, wow. right place, right time. That ball just barely out of the cylinder. Oh. I was kind of wondering, I thought it might have been a, a goal 10. It was, of course, we're only 100 feet away. That gives Vianna the lead, 60 to 58. Here is Skelcher to the right elbow. Now Waller, 60-58. Carterville with the basketball. They trail by two, 318 left in this one. Loser goes home, winner plays six o'clock this evening. Skelcher on the dribble. Barrington right in front of their own bench. Down low, they try to go inside. Shot put up short. Rebound pulled down and it's gonna be traveling. What an effort by Alex Kembro, he elevated on that one, and but he came down and couldn't get his feet under him, and he is called for traveling. So what will Vianna do? They've got a two-point lead and the basketball as we're shade under three minutes. They'll start it out with Hunter Webb. Free throw line extended on the far side. Down inside the waters, trying to back his way in, force one up, and he got it. Nice move by Jacob Waters. Waters off the bench, has six, and it's a four-point lead. Colton Hawkins ready to come back in for Carterville. Good sign. Yep. And, whoop, we're going to get a kicked ball, and that was a good good break there for Vianna. As Kimbrough got the ball, he was wide open. Yeah, a kid like Hawkins or any kid with some moxie. Hey, I know that bone's sticking out. Coach, push it in, tape it up. I'm playing. <laughs> well, like I said, I think you might just bang knees with the player that he ran into, and those hurt for a few minutes, and you're good. But you see him limping out there. I wonder how much his dad will let him stay in there. 225. Here's Barrington. Works right in front of Coach Hawkins. And gives it to the coach's son. And he's going to drive, throw up a shot. It's short. Loose ball on the floor. And they're going to get a foul on Skelcher. Skelcher. Well, again, only the first foul. I'm still having trouble adjusting because I'm looking up. Well, they ought to be in the bonus now. Well, it starts all over each quarter. Here goes Constante quickly down court. Deep in the corner, they go to Webb. He's going to try and drive and put it up and in. Webb with 17. That was Walters, and then Carterville throws it away. Wow. 64-58. 159 left. And timeout charge to Carterville. We'll be back right after these words. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantera Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantera Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantera Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantera to learn more. Vantera, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. Your partner in auto repair. That's Cherry Street Automotive in Carmi. You get service, expertise, and I promise you'll drive away satisfied. Complete engine and body repair, 24-hour-a-day wrecker and towing service, tires from sales and service, and repair including muffler service, brakes, shocks, suspension, and more. When quality counts, count on Cherry Street Automotive in Carmi. Your partner in auto repair. Call 382-7165 today. All right, back here uh, at Duff Kingston, and for a sparse crowd this morning, they are missing a heck of a ball game. And again, this game might not have the most magnitude as far as the fifth place semifinal, but they still get these two teams to play. It's always going to be fun. Wow, Vianna led by three at the quarter, trailed by one at the half, one going into the last quarter. Fell behind by four, and they've upped it. They have a six-point lead and the basketball. 1.59 to go underneath their own goal. They get it inbounds to Constante. Looking for Owen Treat. Inside the lane, now back to Webb. Now Treat. Owen Treat tries to back his way in. I don't think Viana is in any hurry to get a shot here. No. Carnival still has got to, they still have to foul four more times to put him in the bonus. Yeah, you know, you've got the basketball and you've got a six point lead, you don't need to score. Doing a great job playing keep oh, away. Sh shovel pass inside the Buddy Clay and he missed it. We end up with a jump ball. Hero favors Vianna. Jump ball 
one of those that if you're going to shoot it, you better make sure it goes in. Buddy Clay doesn't miss very many of those. They throw the lob inside to Clay. He's going to put it up in the left hand. They said no, he was fouled. You want to say it or I do? <laughs> On the floor. On the floor. Where else would it be? <laughs> One twenty-six left. Vianna still has a basketball under their goal. One twenty-six. They lead it by six. Constante, and he's going to be fouled by Barrington. Yeah, if you're Carterville, you might as well go ahead and get these next three fouls or two fouls now out of the way, because yeah. Vianna's just going to kill the clock. Yeah, you're looking at a uh, two-possession game anyway. They give it in to Owen Treat, and he goes all the way in and oh, lays it up. And Treat, there's a three-point shot put up by Nichols. Fast break, here comes Treat. In the offensive end, he's gonna be fouled way out front. Wow. One of second half in the fourth quarter from Vienna. Mm -mm -mm. We talked about how Barrington put Carterville on his shoulder there in the third quarter. Well, you look at this fourth quarter, Treats come up with seven. That's what you expect. Next foul by Carterville will put Vianna at the line. Stephen Dreers put it in his free throw shooting team. And right away, we're going to get a foul. And going to the line for Vianna will be Jacob Waters. Waters has, he's come off the bench, done a good job, has mm -hmm. six points. You know, if it, it continues like this, you know it's got to be disappointing for Coach Hawkins and his squad to be the number one seeded team. That one's short. And for Viana, you know, they said, hey, they beat us at our place. This are paybacks. Coach Dreher talking with uh, Coach Brett Blondie, our coach referee. And Coach Blondie, uh, Brett Blondie coached a little baseball there at Benton, I think. Second free throw, can't get the bounce. And it's pulled down by Hawkins. Quickly under the front end. Oh, spin move by, <laughs> who else? Barrington. Wow. Timeout called by uh, Shane Hawkins. We'll take a 30 second break. Be right back. Sin Energy Partners provide fuels, lubricants, and propane across the tri-state, offering price risk management, hedging programs, remote tank monitoring, and more. Ask about propane budget program and scheduled deliveries. Call David South today, 812-774-6529. Conquer the cold this winter at your local Hux Market. Earn big rewards with the Hux Bucks Loyalty Program and save on fuel, in-store specials, and even catering. Download the free Hux Bucks app today and enjoy a large big swig or coffee for just 99 cents. If you 56.3 seconds left in this one, and it's Vienna 66, Carterville 60. Of course, Carterville with it pre-season pre or pre-tournament coaches meeting. They had the number one seed, Vianna, the number five seed. And, uh, but again, those top five seeds could yeah. have been flip-flop shuffled anyway. Yeah, no question about it. Pressure in the backcourt. Owen Treat, and he's going to be foul coming up. You know, you, you come in a tournament like this, and whether you're the one seed or the fifth seed or whatever, no matter what, everybody's zero and zero, yep. just like postseason. I think what some people might forget about this tournament is it really comes after the first third of the season. So it, a lot of teams are still trying to figure out who they are, dealing with some early season things. So, you know, the teams we see now are going to be a lot different oh my. come regional time. Well, we've seen this in this tournament from one day to the next. Yep. You know, I go back, A.J. Uh, really looked good against El Dorado and then uh, come back last night. And not to take anything away from Carmi, but – that wasn't the yeah, AJ didn't play very well last night. So it's, uh, you never know what to expect. You just go out there and play your best. And kind of like golf, one day you go out and you shoot 35, the next day you come back and shoot 45. 68-60, <laughs> eight-point lead. They're going to leave it for Hawkins from the volleyball line. That one is short. Rebound Owen Treat. Outlet pass to Mercante ahead, and they're going to back it back out. And Owen Treat is going to be the only one with the basketball. Tell you what, Owen Treat, a really good second half. We were talking at halftime. They had to get him going. He had a quiet first two quarters. 
21 points right now, and he has helped lead the way for this comeback win for Vienna. Well, it's been the fourth quarter as a Vienna 17 to 8 advantage. And that's what they needed yesterday in Massac and just couldn't quite uh, couldn't quite get it done. Treat to shoot a couple. And he's starting to rack them up. He's got 10 of the uh, 17 points this quarter for uh, Vienna. And you, you expect that. I mean, he's got to step up. I mean, yep. he's the type of player he is. Made, I think he was all tournament last year, too, wasn't yep. he? Yep. A 10-point lead, 70-60. Coach Hawkins has set down. So this is uh, – there's a long three-point shot put up by Barrington Brick. Loose ball on the floor and trying to get up and in. It won't go by uh, – <laughs> Carterville cannot get it. They're miss, they've missed four from point blank range. That kind of describes this fourth quarter for the Lions. Wow. Outscored 19 to eight. Wow. In this fourth quarter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Treat had 11. Free throw by Skelcher is good. He'll have another one. Buddy Clay goes back in for Vianna along with uh, Holt Hubner. 70-61. Second one is up and good. 70-62, full court pressure. They get the ball in the middle of the court to Webb. And that is going to be it as Vianna has gained a little of measure of revenge to avenging an earlier season loss as they knock off Carterville by a score of 70 to 62. They go to 10 and four on the year. They're gonna show up tonight at six o'clock to play the winner of this next game, Fairfield AJ. We'll take a three minute break and be back and wrap this one up. Before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber. From cabinets and flooring, doors and paint, lumber and hardware, to shingles and siding. Knowledgeable and friendly staff that have your back on all those home projects and even deliver to your door. So before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber for the woods, the goods, and the know-how. Visit Carmi Lumber, North 3rd Street in Carmi and CarmiLumber.net. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name, the Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantara Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantara Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantara Bank. No ATM fees at more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantara to learn more. Vantara, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. When you think of home, you think of warmth, comfort, and peace of mind. And that's exactly what you get when you choose propane from FS. With propane from Wabash Valley Service Company, you get our well-trained professional staff along with an array of products and services designed to ensure that your propane system is functioning properly and efficiently. Add to this a variety of convenient terms and ways to save money, and you've got the right solution to all your home energy needs. Call Wabash Valley Service Company today or visit fspropane.com for more information. 2023 is almost over. That means it's time for Expressway Ford's year-end sales event. 
Like brand new 2023 F-150 starting at $36,990 plus 2.9% APR for 72 months. With special year-end pricing on all new F-150 crew cabs. Prices so low, we are not allowed to say. Go to ExpressWayFordOnline.com to see them. Now is the time to get the best deal on a new Ford from Expressway Ford in Mount Vernon. Expressway Ford, more Fords for less. All right, the Vienna Eagles use a 19 to 10 run there in the fourth quarter as they dispatch Carterville by a score of 70 to 62. Look at the scoring for Vienna. They were paced with Owen Tree, who had 23, 19 in that last half. They got 19 from Hunter Webb, Buddy Clay with 11. Joe Winteroud came off the bench to get 10. Six from Jacob Waters and one from Dayton Nichols. For the uh, Carterville Lions, uh, good performance was negated by Drew Barrington, who finished the night with 20. He got 16 of those in the last half. 11 from Colton Hawkins, 10 from Brandon Skelcher. Caden Wilson came off the bench with eight. Lawrence Greer with five. Alex Trimbo hit a three. Braden Wilkie with five and two from uh, Josh Walker. So, uh, Vianna comes back tonight to uh, take on the winner of this next game, Fairfield and A.J. Carterville uh, gets uh, a late winter break. Well, and it was a game of runs, and I thought Vianna just played the better fourth quarter. I mean, Carterville had their chances led at the end of the second and third quarters, but uh, Owen Street got hot, and we knew that was going to be the key in the ball game. And Vianna able to get the win, and as Roger said, they'll play the winner of this next game tonight at a six for the fifth-place game. Lots of more basketball coming up throughout the rest of the evening, including our next game, Fairfield and Anna Jonesboro coming up here in about 10 minutes. We'll step aside, get through some commercials right here on 97.3 WRUL. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind. The Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name. The Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. Holy pancake bat dude, our bat ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. I'm Jordan Hammersley, instructor for the Outfitter Wildlife Management Program here at Southeastern Illinois College. We focus on a three-pronged approach to wildlife science. First, we cover all the legal aspects because a lot of my students would like to be a game warden. Second, we focus on the guiding sections. And third, we focus on a wildlife biology approach that is usually reserved for university level courses. Southeastern is becoming known as the Outdoor Recreation College. Visit SIC.edu. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind. The Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name. The Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. When you think of home, you think of warmth, comfort, and peace of mind. And that's exactly what you get when you choose propane from FS. With propane from Wabash Valley Service Company, you get our well-trained professional staff along with an array of products and services designed to ensure that your propane system is functioning properly and efficiently. Add to this a variety of convenient terms and ways to save money, and you've got the right solution to all your home energy needs. Call Wabash Valley Service Company today or visit fspropane.com for more information. 
Holy pancake bat dude, our bat ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. Welcome to Pro Rehab Carmi, where our passion is getting you back to life faster. It is our privilege to walk with you every step of the way using evidence-based treatments specifically created just for you. Whether it's sports, general orthopedics, or pelvic floor rehab, you are in the right hands. Your results are worth fighting for, and our team fights for you. Call 384-7872 or visit Pro Rehab on Main in Carmi and get back to life faster. Conquer the cold this winter at your local Hux Market. Earn big rewards with the Hux Bucks loyalty program and save on fuel, in-store specials, and even catering. Download the free Hux Bucks app today and enjoy a large big swig or coffee for just 99 cents. Evil Light Creative Studio in Carmi is a full-service communications and design consultancy. We are excited to make your design project a reality. Reach out to us to see how we can create something amazing together all within your budget. Evil Light Creative Studio, what can we create with you? Welcome to Taylor Eye Care on Falcon Avenue in Carmi. Excellence in eye care. From thorough examinations utilizing advanced equipment and technology to premier optical products. Here at Taylor Eye Care, we treat every patient like family going above and beyond the expected for a truly memorable eye care experience. Simply put, we are excellence in eye care. If you're looking to brighten and enhance your vision, don't hesitate to contact us today, 382-4683. Big City Services in a small town. That's Butch and Associates CPAs, providing superior client service to folks here at home and across the U.S. Taxes and bookkeeping, accounting and audit services, plus full-service consulting. Butch and Associates CPAs, where expertise meets excellence. At Butch and Associates, it's your journey backed by our commitment. Visit butch.com to learn more and contact us today. Before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber. From cabinets and flooring, doors and paint, lumber and hardware, to shingles and siding. Knowledgeable and friendly staff that have your back on all those home projects and even deliver to your door. So before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber for the woods, the goods, and the know-how. Visit Carmi Lumber, North 3rd Street in Carmi and carmilumber.net. 